Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode we made it here to the Fey March, which is the home of the uh, the Summoner people. And this is where Rydia has been, or had been, for... I'm gonna assume months in this game. She's been here for probably months, like... Our time, years for her, because time works different here. What do you gotta say for yourself, sir? It's good to see your face again, Rydia. Very nice people. Oh, Rydia. Are those your human friends? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, th this is uh, where we will be uh, having to fight the first two uh, summons. Which is... Uh, we have to fight uh, Leviathan and Azura. I just gotta remember where they're at. Oh yeah, yeah. There they are. That's Leviathan and Azura right there. So hopefully we're ready to fight. We have to talk to this funny-looking man right here. The Ardlong King? Oh no, young lean. I am but a feeble old man. We gotta talk to her first, then. Your Majesty. Rydia. Uh, Rydia, it is as good... It is good to see you again, as and well. Please, Your Majesty, we need... We have need of your strength. Then I shall lend it to you. But you know I must first test y your own. It is the code, and the code must be observed. Have you come to... Have you the courage and strength to face me? Uh, no, but let's try it anyway. So be it. Azura, we fight her first. Okay. Yeah, she's using Protect, Physical Damage. And then she switched head to Healing. So what we're gonna do... ...is use a Blitz, see what that can do. Summon, Dragon, Jump. Uh, White Magic, Protect, she's reviving herself. And... Shell. I want to see what we can do with uh, elemental damage. Okay, so electricity heals her. I'm going to have to use Blink. But since Kane's in the air, we're going to have to make sure he, he gets him too. Oh, she's in uh, protect mode. Uh, I'm going to throw Shuriken. I'm pretty sure this is going to heal because it's elemental. We're about to find out. No, I can actually hurt. Shuriken, she's counterattack. Ah, not that bad. That could be way worse. Okay, then we're going to start using Blink on her because we need uh, we need our healer. Dragon. Ooh, that 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 was bad. Just... Ow. Good thing we're Kira. It's not gonna give much, but it'll give something. Uh, let's see. No. Uh... Cast Blink on yourself. Got to be really careful with the heads, because she her counterattacks don't do so much damage. Uh, protect. Oh, never mind. We're so powerful, we beat her first try. Nice. One idol on down. An edge is level fifty-five. Nice. Sweet Rydia, these are good companions you have fa your <laughs> Let me redo that. Sweet Rydia, these are good companions you have found, both strong and true. Allow me, too, to lend my strength to your cause. Summon me whenever you have need. 
Rydia learned Azura. And next is Leviathan, who will kick my ass. Okay. Uh, let's heal. Okay, I think we're ready. Rydia, child! You're the first and only to best my lady queen. But strength of arm alone will aid you little in the face of true evil. Without the st strength of will to keep it aligned on the proper course, all the power in the world amounts to nothing. My spirit has been tempered and, and honed in the forge of the ages. Will you face me knowing what it means to do so? Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Return here when you're ready. I, I, I'm gonna go save because I just beat Azura and I remember Leviathan was a lot harder. And when it comes to his one attack, I think, because he uses Tsunami. And I want to make sure I'm prepared. Thankfully, this is a save point. First, let's use uh, a tent, because I don't need healing, I just need mana. It's shape weird right there. Okay, now we save. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go do this. I am... I am ready for your challenges. I'm not afraid. I'm... Okay, I'm slightly afraid. Just slightly. Like, on a scale of 1 to 5, uh... A 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Round 2. Leviathan. And I'm gonna use Azura against him. Uh, I'm going to use Blitz. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. So let's use... First, let's use a Kuraga. Then I will cast Protect for physical damage. Then I'm gonna cast... Blink on Kane, and then we're gonna summon Azra to give us uh, some extra bonuses. Okay, he's using decoy. Okay, good, good, good. We're all good. How much damage? Mmm. Not good, but thankfully we had that ready. All right, Azra, help us out here. Azra's boon. Nice. So she can heal us, so that'll come in handy. Uh, we need shell. Alright, now I'm going to start casting Blink one at a time. And then again, we'll probably kill him quickly. Joke's on you. We protected ourselves this time. Um, blink on you. Uh, Rama. And... I'm going to use another decoy. Shouldn't be that much left to fight him. I, I know I said his fight was hard, but we're like incredibly high level compared to uh, compared to him, and thus this does a lot of damage. No, we're fine. Have we got a kill yet? 1984. Just like last time, a judgment bolt up your ass. 9,000 damage, nice. Now we're gonna cast a blink 
on Rydia. Can I use a decoy on someone else? No. I didn't even uh, cast. Uh, yeah, I didn't even cast slow on him. Just, just, just to add insult to injury, he's probably very close to death anyway. Now it makes it even easier. Because he can't hurt us. He barely has uh, any damage. Deluge. Oof. Thankfully, I can prepare, but we're probably about to win. Ow! That was a nice hit. Attack. Another beautiful Rama Blast. And we win. No death. That's two Eidolons down. I'm gonna have to look up the list, because I remember there's some that you have to get from certain things. I know there's a Goblin Punch. And I think Shirty has Chocobo. Indeed, you bear the light. Very well. Go with the power of the Eidolon King at your command. Ready, I learned Leviathan. Nice. Okay. That takes down two. I think one of them is Sylph. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, one of them... Uh, I'm gonna have to look up the name. Uh, but I know one of them is Odin. You got Bahamut. Uh, use Cottage this time. Might as well, you know. <laughs> it's still facing forward, but because we're in a different angle, it's facing that way. Okay, let's save. Okay, I think, I think we're ready to go to the next area, since it's only 12 minutes in. Uh, if I remember correctly, the exit, yeah, right here. Then it's down all the way at the bottom, is that one button area. It brings us to that one spot with all the uh, chest. Then we go to the secondary portal inside of it, and it brings us all the way back home. So ignore that. And we go to this right here. Then we go to this one. And bada bing bada boom, we're out. Let's save. Because we can always, uh, if we ever need to go back, uh, they have a dude there. So our next location is in that direction to that cave, or technically that direction. It's to this cave up here. So let's go right over here and park right here. And then one more time save. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. Uh, just like the last area, eventually we're gonna have to use float, I believe. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not too sure, but we'll find out quick. This one's gonna be a little bit hard. Yeah, we're gonna need float. <laughs> it's a Shrek swamp after all. But uh, this area is a little bit more challenging, just a little bit. But I think we can handle it. I don't see any reason why we can't. Ooh, angel arrows. What do they do compared to the Yorichi? Uh, it may inflict confused status. That might come in handy. I don't know. Eh, I want. Ooh, Marlboro. Oh, you guys barely hurt us at all. Yep, we can handle this area like it's nothing. The fight that is going to take the longest will be Bahamut and, uh, and Odin. They're going to take the longest. Hiya! And we win. Rose is level 62 now. See, I don't even need to grind. 
Dang. Okay, we got all that. Uh, I, I like getting all the uh, the extras uh, or the rewards. We only got 40% of this damn. Oh, I saw that. But yeah, we're probably going around. Hey. You like frogs? I like frogs. Now we kill the frogs! God, they're weak. Whenever you see a mage next to some sort of creature, you want to kill the mage first, because you never know what they're going to do with the creatures. Probably turn them into something worse. Something that'll kill us in one hit. You never know. Okay. Going up. Oh. I almost ran into that. This little spot right here is poison. Okay, let's see. Oh, where to find a way in? Lady? And now the frogs. I don't think they fight back. They probably have, like, physical attack. They don't seem to want to fight back. Like, hit us with your tongue or something. Come on, you know you want to. I'm right here. Alright. They didn't fight back at all. We just murdered innocent frogs. How gr glorious. Where does that go? There's so many areas in, in, in the, uh, in, the, in this beautiful, uh, place. The Sylph Cave. So I was right, it is Sylph. Kill the demons! Because I'm pretty sure they can cast some evil spells. Marlboro has poison abilities, but I never really worry about Marlboros. Ow. Rose is getting close to halfway on health. Pretty is level 58, and she learned Tornado. A really good spell to cast, but it has a low chance of hitting. Oh, I saw that. I forgot to cast Float. Who's falling asleep? Oh, uh, I am. Oh, and, and Edge. We wanted to take a nap. You silly demons. They're not sleepy. You silly, silly demons! How many times do I have to say- Oh, now you're using silence? I think you missed. And it, and it doesn't even affect Rydia. hi -yah. Ooh, he got paralyzed. So now, now Cecil and Edge can uh, have a little nap. While they just slaughter this demon. Look at that. They didn't even need to fight. That's how, that's how weak these guys are. And look at that. Kane's level 63 now. Good for him. I'm gonna cast Float. Because I forgot to cast it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Messed up there. Okay. Room full of chest. High potion. Maiden's Kiss. And a fairy rod. I don't really need any of that stuff. But I assume that each of these rooms that uh, I see here are connected to the rooms outside. Alright, who's falling asleep this time? 
everyone, uh, everyone's uh, uh, awake except me. What about Edge? Are you about to go to sleep? Yep, he got tired. But it's okay. We already, we basically won this. Because all they, all they seem to be good for is casting silence, silence and sleep. And last one. No, you're gonna cast silence again. Go ahead. I'm not using magic, and it doesn't even affect Rydia. Victory! Edge is now level 56. And he didn't even earn that. Oh, I saw that. Wait. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's one of these type of things. Oh, they're silent. What was that? Bad breath. Ah, turned into a frog. Well, luckily for us, we have spells for that. We just gotta kill these guys. Yep, nothing here seems to really bother me. I can, I seem to be able to kill everything like it's nothing. Now let's kill the last Marlboro. I missed. Bile. He basically vomited on me. That's gross. Haha, <laughs> little frog. Even in frog form, she's adorable. Okay. First things first. Second thing, second. And finally... Yeah, little areas. I'm gonna have to cast... Float again. There was also another path over here. Oh, I see it right over there. A room full of chest. Can't enter that way. Or we can go here. Ah, okay. I, yeah, I know where we're at. Because I saw the sylph thing. Uh, this one was a short dungeon. Just in case we need it. Whoa. Oh, you guys want some more? That's what you want? Let's do it. One down. And now you only have one chance, my man. Never mind, he doesn't get a chance. The Marlboro doesn't want to fight back. Come on, fight back. There you go. And Rydia got hit this time. She's turned to a toad and she's blinded, as you can see. Oh. Let's heal her. There we go. We gotta go in this direction. A room full of chest. Bomb core. Remedy. 2,000 gil. And two Marlboros want to stop me from opening this next chest. I do plan on going back to the Fey March uh, for Rydia, so I can give her uh, get her new items. Cause I did not check out the the market. I just realized that. Okay, all you did was confuse, but we can kill before we can kill before uh, uh, Kane decides to attack. We're all good now. Three thousand gil. 
Wait, how is uh, Kane? Silent. I mean, he doesn't really... He doesn't really need his mana. There we go. But might as well, you know. And over here should be the opening to it. Emergency exit. It is the, uh... It's the bog witch. Kill the frogs! The frogs die now! All right. Now let's see what's uh, I getting. Uh, Maiden's kiss. Maiden's kiss. Ether. All right. We go down here. Ooh. We yeah. We better watch our footsteps. There we go. And because I messed up, let's heal. We're all good. Where we need to go is literally right next to us, to the left. After this fight, I gotta end it, because I just realized we're, we're over time. Bad breath. Who's getting affected? Rosa. Silence and a frog. Alright. Let me first heal using Asuna. Alright. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you everyone so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll make it directly to the next summon, which will be Sylph. Because this is her cave. So look forward to that. But until then, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I will talk to you all tomorrow.